Hey, what's going on everyone? Greg here. And one of the most common questions I get in the YouTube comments is what kind of Apple Watch bands do I wear? Now, do you think I'm actually gonna tell you where to get these bands from? Because I don't know, I, I think I like keeping it a secret. I like having the nice Apple Watch bands. If I tell you guys, you guys are all gonna buy the same exact band as me. And then I'm not gonna be stylish anymore. No one's gonna talk to me and say, Greg, where'd you get that awesome Apple Watch band? Everyone's just gonna know my secrets. All right, you guys have been really nice to me this year, so I'm gonna tell you where you can get these Apple Watch bands from. Now, you may have noticed this year that Apple decided to stop selling its classic Apple leather watch band, and there was nothing too special about it. It was just a really nice band made by Apple, and it had a nice buckle on it, a very classic look to complete your Apple Watch. Now, Apple no longer sells that band, so I've been looking for a solid replacement for everyone who likes Apple Watch bands, for everyone who's been asking me about a good quality Apple Watch band. Now I contacted the fine folks at Pat and Quill. If you've watched the channel, you know that I wear a leather Pat and Quill band and I wanted to see if they had anything that could compete with that classic leather Apple Watch strap. Now after I contacted them, they did just that. They sent over a leather Apple Watch band, the one I'm actually wearing right now. Now this is made specifically for the 42 and 44 millimeter versions of the Apple Watch. Pat and Quill calls this the Heritage Leather Apple Watch band. The Heritage Leather Apple Watch band retails for $99. So one of the first things I noticed when I put this Apple Watch strap on as opposed to some of my other bands is that it was a little stiff. Now one of the other problems I ran into when first using this watch for the first week is that stiff feeling was it was a little hard to kind of get on, but that stiff feeling is only momentary. Now I've been wearing this band for about a month now, but about after a week that stiffness worn off, you get a nice piece of leather with this Apple Watch band and it should age pretty well over time. I've had pad and quill bands in the past and they just age really nicely. It's a full grain whiskey leather watch strap. You get nice stitching and French hemmed edges. You get contrasting sand colored stitching. This is UV resistant marine grade stitch. And apparently this stitching is used in sails, parachutes and more, but what we care about is that it looks really nice. And because it's used in a lot of products that need to be durable, I'm guessing that the stitching inside of this Apple Watch band is also extremely durable. And if you're worried about this thing not being durable, Pat & Quill offers a 25 year leather warranty on this Apple Watch strap. You have a lot of holes on this band as well, so it's super easy to adjust to almost any wrist size. So if you have small wrist or even bigger wrists, you should find a size to fit you. And I've worn this leather band for about a month now and the coloration of the leather band seems to be about the same when I got it. Now, if you know anything about fine quality leather, you know that over time, this leather is going to age. A lot of people refer to this as a Pantina. And if I look at my Apple Watch strap, maybe I'm noticing some slight changes so far, but I don't think I've worn it long enough to kind of develop that color change just yet. It's going to get softer, which it has gotten softer. And the leather on the band is really, really thick, which I think is going to make it really durable. Compare it to the classic buckle of the Apple Watch leather strap, the one that they used to sell that they no longer sell. You'll see that the leather here is a little bit thicker, which makes this watch a little bit better for everyday use. Use. It's not going to look super, super dressy. I find that this one can kind of almost suit any occasion. So it looks really good if you're dressing up, but if you're just walking around, if you're wearing like a short sleeve shirt, just fits almost any outfit that I've thrown on. Now this comes with nickel polished lugs and you can get that in the classic silver color or you can get it in a matte black color as well to match whatever color Apple watch you have. Now I've only used aluminum Apple watches. I know a lot of people use the stainless steel Apple watches and these are going to be discolored from the aluminum Apple watch. Personally, it doesn't bother me too much and I barely notice it. You're not really looking at the lugs of the Apple watch either. You're looking at the face, the side of it, or the band itself. But if that does bother you, that is something to be aware of. They don't have matching lugs for the aluminum versions. But if you're a stainless steel Apple Watch user, you should be fine. Now my expertise comes in tech, not really the quality of leather, but from the leather straps I have worn, this does seem to be really, really high quality. And after that initial week of stiffness, I've been finding that it's been super comfortable to wear. And it's just been a solid leather band from Pat & Quill. I really, really like it. So is the Heritage Leather Apple Watch band a fitting replacement for the classic leather Apple Watch strap? 
Yes, I think it is. I think it's one of the best Apple Watch bands I personally ever owned. If you're looking for a quality leather Apple Watch band that you can wear on almost any occasion, and with Apple no longer making a classic leather watch strap for the Apple Watch, I really recommend you check out Pat and Quill's selection of Apple Watch straps. Of course, I will leave a link in the description if you are interested in purchasing it. Okay, everyone, if you like that video, make sure you give me a like. If you want to see more from my channel, including more coverage on the Apple Watch, make sure you're subscribed. And as always, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.